Will we be victorious? It's a massive swing. Is this the overwhelm Shurima unit with sharks and maybe sand soldiers? Bro, I called it. I knew exactly what it was. All right, we want to find early champion three cost. We want to find early landmark. We want to find early sharks. I like the sand. This is kind of a slow deck. He's going to lose a lot of value really, really, really early. I can actually go Emperor's Deus into Wraith if I wanted to. I can actually go Shark Chariot into Soul Cleave as well. Oh, but that's the Soul Cleave is better for the OTK combo, I think. So let's let's okay. We're, this is not this is not okay. Yeah, I think we play Soul Cleave on this dude maybe. Although Sharks is kind of nice. Freaking the Soul Cleave is delicious. Yes, but the problem is this is PNZ. He has like a million ways to kill me, and I have no way to buff the HP of Shark. So I would love to play this on three. I can play it on three if I wanted to, but the problem is, uh, then I'm not. I have nothing to summon Shark on five. Okay, never mind. Um, let's go for this. No, this is better. Okay. Not the end of the world. It's fine. This deck rips. It looks pretty fun. I'm a fan of it. That's an annoying card. Azir into Desert Wrath is actually pretty sick as well. Azir is a problem card for him, by the way. Also, we know his most expensive spell costs three, so he has no removal for Azir. That's a pretty big deal. Unless he top decked one. Line mark, yeah. We lost the line mark, but we have a zero on the board, so I'm, I'm not mad at that. Now we go uh, Desert Wrath. What is Matron for? I wasn't really paying attention to what Matron was for here. This is the most expensive card. I know. Well, the most expensive spell, not the most expensive card, to be fair. It's a lot of value on the board. It's a lot of pressure, but he has double horse, which will slow us down by a lot. I'm gonna do this, because this is doing nothing. This is gonna heal back to full. Doesn't matter. If he wants to use Mystic Shot on that, it's fine. I don't mind. Let, let him waste Mystic Shot. How strong is this gonna be? Is this into Soul Cleave ever worth it? I'm not sure. I think not. I would love to get one more of these in hand. That's a nice draw. Really? Come. I'm just going to play some blockers. I think this is fine. Just to buff this as much as possible. Now he has to obliterate his ear. He has to kill his ear with whatever he has. He has to kill him, right? But he doesn't have kill cards. I mean, maybe he drew a kill card. I think we develop Mr. Fallen Sand General. This is a really big hitter. Thermo Beam. I'm a little worried about this. What do we top deck here? Right, let's pop it. One, two, three. This is hitting for 11 damage. He has to thermo it. It's kind of sad if he does. He had thermo. Wow, he actually held on to thermo. It's kind of impressive. I didn't expect him to hold on. This is leveling his ear, by the way. Really bad matchup. Yeah, it's, 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 it's looking pretty bad so far. I mean, a zero level up is kind of nice. Like, these hit for a lot. Not enough, but they hit for a lot. A zero hitting for four is also really good. He should never block this. He should be blocking this with this, though. Oh, actually, no. This is, this is a good block. I'm a fan of this. 
Yeah, this is this is proper. No Hecarim in hand sucks. Yeah, I would love to find a Hecarim. Maybe we will. No challenger. Oh, Elusive's even worse. Wow, that's pretty sick. Um, we have a good blocker. We gotta hope we find Hecarim, that's it. That's all we have, chat. We gotta hope for a Hecarim top deck. That is our only out here. We're down to 6 HP. If we find top deck Hecarim, we have a win con. Theoretically. Because Hecarim has Overwhelm, and we have Soul Cleave as well, and like, I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'd have double Hecarim on board with the Spectral Matron. Alright, Hecarim! Are you there, brother? No lifesteal. Are you there, Hecarim? Show yourself, my dude. I believe! Ah! Boom! I see. I see. I see. Okay. 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 Stupid. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Anuvia. Uh, this is really bad because it freezes, so we never keep Atrocity. I'll keep Hecarim in hand. Wait, you run Curse of the Tomb? Interesting, actually. I guess that's decent for Hecarim. Okay. Or for the other guy. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I like that. I like that. I'm a fan. You found Hecarim nice? Yes, I did. All right. We, we opened with Ceaseless Sentry on two. Do you want to push damage? If they're out there, I'll spot them. Look out for Reavers. I'm gonna play Emperor's Deus. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. Oh wow. We okay, we go Azore, Maximare, and then we go double Emperor's Deus. That's 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 nice. I'm a fan of this. Alright, Azir. You will do great things for your country, Azir. I wonder if I ever open attack with Azir. No, I never open attack here. Uh, if I get a two drop, that'd be pretty interesting as well. Oh my, wait, what? That's even better. That's better than these. Because if he does kill my Azir now with Vengeance, I, I, get, I get to at least attack with this, and then I can play Double Emperor's Deus, and then I'm guaranteed this to generate a unit for this. That's sick. That's disgusting. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm actually a fan of this. I like this a lot. This is a massive, massive attack next turn. Like, he can have Black Spear. This is a fact. But we have double Emperor's Deus into either open attack or Hakarino. And Hakarino is actually really good. Okay. Alright, let's party. Why play that pre-combat? To generate a unit? What do you mean? Oh, wow. Like, finding this is really good as well. Double deny is really, really good here. I'm going to let him vengeance that every time. I might open attack. Because... Actually, I can, I can just play Hecarim here. We never play Hecarim. We have to hold on to mana for right of negation. Withering Whale can be a thing. No, no, we, we play we play Azir here. And uh, if he plays Vengeance again, I get right of negation to 2 1, which gives me a buff anyway, so. Azir levels from attacking here, right? 9, 10, 11. No, he doesn't. He's one off leveling. 12. Yeah, 12. Exactly. Exact level up. Okay. Destiny calls. It is time. Level up. I have risen and with me. It's fine. Very strong. And now Hecarim open attack lethals. Well, does, yeah, he open attack kind of lethals, basically. And we have two denies if we want it. I don't think we waste this deny, though. We just play Hecarim next turn. We need, we need the board space anyway. 
If he wants to kill him, he can kill him. There, there's a lot of ways to kill Azir. Although I do like Rite of Negation as well. Okay, that's great. That means he can't kill him. Fantastic! There it is. That is all I needed. Now he plays Anuvia. I couldn't care less about Anuvia here. Make me proud! Hecarim! That's right. I've got double deny next turn. Your attack is pointless. Because then you just lose blockers. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Baby! Is this, is this worth attacking? It's not worth attacking, right? The other guys are just stronger. Why does order matter? Attack! Do an attack with Azir? Azir does more damage than everything else, chat. A zero hits for seven, bro. What do you mean? Hollowed? Oh. Actually, that, that's a mistake. I should have attacked... No. Eh. I don't know. Okay. Uh, double, double freeze. I can respect that. Mm-hmm. Withering Whale, I'm going to laugh at its face. I will laugh... No, no. I'm going to... No, 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 no. What are you doing, buddy? Double harsh winds. Wow. I mean, it's not a bad attack. It's not bad. We got a lot of value off of that. We just let it go through, right? I think it's just atrocity. I'm never going to get a better atrocity than this. I'll never get a better atrocity. Because he's going to have freezes for the rest of the game. Atrocity makes sense here. Sweet! Okay, we're good. Curse on Anivia? Why would I curse on Anivia, bro? Mm-hmm. You... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. The fact that this gives me plus two attack, it gives me plus four attack, it's actually insane. <laughs> I got him! Out of my face! Oh, there it is! All right, we got to win. Not bad. All right, we got one win. All right, we're up against our friend Brom. Brom is on my team, not on his team. He's gonna, he's gonna give me the game. This is an easy win. I'll take the predict. One, two, three. Beautiful, Pecoroni. Ooh, Shark Chariot's not bad either. I'll take Shark Chariot. It's a lot of pressure. We still play Shark Chariot in like four. Oh, this is awkward. This is actually really awkward. In the War Mother's name. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Give me all the give me give me all the mushrooms. And so it begins the great battle of our time. Holy crap, dude. Yo, thank you for the Ten thousand bits, bro. What is that? That's ten burgers matching everyone else. Holy smokes! How much is that? A hundred dollars, bro. The man just sent me a hundred bucks for no reason, just because he could, just because he's a Giga Chad, bro. That's insane. Thank you. Also, what the hell is this? I I, I lost already. My ages. God, that's that's actually no. What is? I lost. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you for the one th ten thousand. Oh my God, that's a, that's actually crazy. That's actually nuts. Watch him have another buff here. Just get overwhelmed. Give him overwhelm. Just ruin my day. Come on, come on. Oh wow, he doesn't have it. Okay, that's huge. That's actually huge. This game is actually winnable. It's winnable, chat. We can actually win the game, theoretically, if we're fast enough. If we're powerful enough. Brom is on the job. My god. Okay. I need a unit. I need a unit right now. Unit. Unit! It's too expensive of an unit. 
unfortunately. Thank you, man. Thank you, Chiricoco, for the ridiculous amount of support, my friend. I really appreciate that. We lost. It's over. We actually lost, chat. His open attack literally just destroys me. What is this? What do I do? How does it... How do I recover from this mentally? Don't tell Flo. No, Chiricoco, you're insane, brother. Thank you so much, sir, for the ridiculous support. Really, thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate that. Thanks, man. It's over. We lost. Look at this hand. Look how sick this hand is. It's over. I have nothing I can win with. Actually, give everything minus two, minus two, maybe. No, I didn't get it. I didn't even have mana for that. I'll let him swing for the fences. He deserves it. Good win, brother. Dude, play aggro. Don't tell me what to play. Thank you very, very much. That's a ridiculous amount of money, man. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, friend. Thank you. For real. Thank you. That is a lot. And I really do appreciate it. I actually need units to block because this is an aggro deck. And one bit now two is my peace offering. Thank you, buddy. We never trade these. Even though we can do damage to face, we never trade. He can't attack next turn. I've got gravel kicks and slag fruit. Even more reason why he can't attack. Shark Chariot versus Desert Wrath. I think Desert Wrath is where it's at. No, I like Shark Chariot here. Bit of nice. Nice hair transplantation you got there. Alright, dude. Um, Do I attack with it? No, I don't attack with this. That's fine. Wow, he took six to face. Seven to face. Six. Okay. I'm not mad at that. Oh, uh, we have Desert Wrath for blockers now if he open attacks. Nice. Desert Wrath and Emperor's Davis. I'm not mad at this. Uh, double Ephemeral Blocker is fantastic. It's really hard to deal with. I'm thinking whether I play Emperor's Deus here. I think I don't. And the reason there's a very good reason why we don't. It's because I want to have um, Deny Mana next turn. Wow. He attacks with everything. Okay, block. 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 And block, I guess? Sure. I mean, I gotta kill these eventually. Ooh, Hecarim. Okay, um, one, two. One, two, three. We have leveled up Hecarim if I play this. We're good. Actually, we don't even need to play this. But yeah, we, we gotta we gotta drop him, right? Wait, do I drop? Is there any punish for Hecarim here? What's the punish? Like mini morph kills him at any point, so mini morph doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four. I have to attack with this. Okay. Two defenses. We give him the overwhelm damage, which is nice. That's huge. That's a huge swing, dude. There's a massive swing! Bro. That's rough, man. That is rough. He could have survived. He just had to block here, here. Wait. You're only blocking 3 HP. You could have blocked 6. What are you doing?! You could have lived! People don't think sometimes, chat. He wasn't dead there. He would have survived. He just had to not block Hecarim. He blocked Hecarim for three. If he even moved his Azir to block Hecarim instead, he would have done better. Like, what? He had like two... What? I'm so lost. I just need to play versus slow decks. 
how slow is Nora TF? I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna assume it's slow. Like this, this deck kind of sucks. So you kind of have to high roll if you want to win. So I'm just gonna assume he has no way to stop Shark Chariot. One, two, three. Okay. I'm a fan. Also, this deck runs no... It runs no... Uh, let me pick this up. It runs no... Buffs, which is really weird. Because usually you want to run buffs in this deck. Hoping he pings this. <sighs> okay. That's really uh, annoying. I can't play Soul Cleave anymore on Shark Chariot. He's joining Ghost Crawler's studio. Wait, who is? Interesting. If he plays a three drop, odds are low that he he got himself one mana deal one. He's gonna drop this down. Is this the Oncologist card? Do we know? Let me just play this. It's 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 too risky to play Soul Cleave here. I'm just gonna play this. He almost certainly has a ping. Yeah. As expected. Like. And he had a Pike Toss the entire time. That's why I said, like, in this matchup, like, it's just not correct to do. Everyone's leaving Blizzard. Ooh, hello. I still think Desert Wrath is better. Because I can play this next turn. And this more guarantees me to get myself a shark. He'd have to have double ping. Which he could have, don't get me wrong. He could have double ping here. And then this guarantees next turn to have both a blocker and a red card incoming. Okay. If he has TF, he has TF. Again, I can't play around it because my entire deck is built around 1 HP units. The sooner he uses the TF, the better for me. I'm still getting a good buff on this guy. I'm getting a lot of, uh, a lot of value. If he has another ping, he massively misplayed here because he's, he gave me the free shark. If he has one more ping. Easy does it. Persistence is key. Okay, he didn't have another ping. Alright, that's good to know. He's out of pings. He's out of pings, he's out of TFs. In hand. Nora's a bit annoying, but whatever. Nice draw. Keep up, keep up. Play this into this. This guarantees that I can uh, open attack with sharks. Who do I give the buff to? I give the buff to the 2 1. Alright. That's a very good draw. That's fine. Put some pressure on him. We want this to die. Oh, he's not going to kill it? Interesting. I can't deny that. Even though I would like to deny it, there's going to be more important denies coming up. He's down to 10 HP as well. He lost his fearsome unit. I'm going to play Soul Cleave on this. That kind of hurts, unless I... Unless I get a Hecarim! <laughs> oh no! Oh, he got, he got wrecked, bro. He got so destroyed. Holy crap. I need to draw cards. He should have stopped me from doing that, by the way. He just gave me three mana draw three cards. I, I think it that was a really big misplay by him. To let that go through. If he had any pings, that was a massive misplay. Now if I get the seven cost, I win. If I get the I win. Oh my god, quick chat. Please, please don't screw me. Please don't. Dude, I can't find anything. I can't find it. There's nothing to find. Okay, listen, I have atrocity with lethal. I can possibly lethal with atrocity. It's fine. It's fine. This is going to be a thick lad. This will be a thick boy. He will be the thickest of thicks. Okay, no mini morpho. No morphologies, please. Bird is the word? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh my god. Oh my god! What is this? He has it all! He 
He knows. He's sniping me. He knows I have it. Out of my face! Double mini morph. How dare you? How how dare he chat? Double mini morph me. Let's beat this guy as well. Last one, last one, last one. This is aggro versus aggro, basically. Uh, Red of Negation, probably worth keeping. Hecarim, probably not. Azir, definitely. This is good for Pike. Like, Pike beats this. Like, Pike is the main way he destroys us. We have good curvature. We're very round. What made him a sniper? The fact that he said good game when, he, when like... Atrocity was lethal, I guess. Like that, that kind of felt a little bit Snoopy, but not Matt. Skip. These are all bad. I need to find my uh, higher value cards. <laughs> um, we take that to face because we need blockers for uh, the other guys. End turn. Very good end turn here. Uh, what I'm going to do here is Soul Cleave this, I think. I'm pretty sure I Soul Cleave this card. Oh, really? He open attacks? I hate that open attack, by the way. I'm not a fan of that at all. Alright, now we have Azir. We're looking solid. I'm happy with this. I was going to Soul Cleave, but now we have Soul Cleave as a win condition. I could have played this. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up playing uh, deny next turn. Annoying. He's gonna watch for Pike. There's no pike to worry about. Uh, like, our, our hand is not that bad, honestly. It could be a lot worse. Atrocity. Shereeman Telstone's Spirit Fire. I think I have to skip it all. I, I need units. I need to find units. We play this next turn as a blocker, I think. And we play Desert Wrath as well if we want to go further. I think we're okay. I think we might be able to win this. I'm not sure if we can. I'm not sure if we can win this. One, two... We might be able to win this. Let me see. Oh wait, no, you're right. No, no I have enough. I have enough. Heck, a soul clip is enough. I need him just not to have a uh, pike, and I'm good. If he doesn't have pike, we can we can win. You're right. You're right. Let's hope for the best. Let's see what happens. No pike. Surely they don't have pike too. Okay, let's find out. Let's see what happens, chat. Let's see how this goes. Will we be? be will we be victorious? Please make me victorious. Please make me victorious. Please make me victorious. That's not victory, but I'll take what I can get. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna try attack! Now these Hecarim should be should be like only hitting for like eight, eight and seven. It's kind of sad it doesn't work the way it used to work. Because this would have been lethal if it worked the way it used to work, chat. It's kind of sad. They don't hit enough damage, but we'll try our best. That's a right! Oh, yeah. He might have burst speed lethal. So I gotta do this first. 
in case he, he has burst, because every time he draws a card to do one damage, he can draw mushrooms as well. He might have burst speed. He might have burst. I have lethal here. This is on average lethal chat. On average, this is lethal. On average, this is lethal. Four mana destroy landmark. You're coming. He's not gonna have four mana destroy landmark. Nope. Yes. Okay. No, it's, no, it's, it's actually under lethal on average. Please, please. One more mushroom. One more mushroom, bro. Please, no. <laughs> I got scammed, bro. There's no way. What is this life?